welcome back to the channel daughter of increase my name is nate denise for those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video and i post new videos every wednesday all about my faith god christ and expanding the kingdom of god and i do that through bible studies book reviews discussions and more so as the title says above this is well it was supposed to be the introduction before book club started but book club officially starts today which is february 12th so i highly apologize i meant to have everything done before then but a lot's been going on if you guys saw my update um so yeah this is pretty much going to be the introduction about the book club pick for this month how long it's going to be information as far as live streams and the um live readings which i will also be including and things like that so if you guys didn't know the book we are reading for this month up until april is going to be harvest of rubies by miss tessa abshar it is the first book in the harvest of rubies duology which is a two book series if you will on the book of nehemiah following his cousin if he had a female cousin who was a scribe and this book for me i describe it as tessa's most comical book this was a five star read all the way for me loved it so much but i feel like out of all the books that because i've read all of her books um but out of all of them i believe that this is her most comical book um the messages and themes in this book are so amazing and phenomenal and i love it so much it is based on the book of nehemiah so nehemiah does have a lot of wisdom that is thrown into this book and i love it so much so i cannot wait to reread this with you all starting today i will actually be starting tomorrow and we are going to be reading three chapters a week now i'm not sure if that's going to be doable for most people because i'm just a book nerd so i can read pretty quickly and I know a lot of you guys are not bookworms like that you guys prefer to read a chapter or something like that but because there are 27 chapters in this book I wanted to make it where we're not reading each book for too long um and that we're getting through prayerfully the entire plan of reading these six or five books that we had planned out if that makes sense so if you guys don't know this is biblical fiction based on the book of nehemiah and it is so well written so i'm quickly going to read the back of the book for you guys to give you guys some information on it so on the back it says remarkable talent threatens to cloud a life the prophet nehemiah's cousin has been catapulted into the center of the persian court working long hours rubbing elbows with royalty and becoming the queen's favorite scribe not bad for a woman living in a man's world, but a devastating past has left Sarah believing that God doesn't love her and her achievements are the measure of her worth, a measure she can never quite live up to. Darius Pesagarde is accustomed to having his way. A wealthy and admired aristocrat, the last thing he expects is an arranged marriage to the queen's scribe, an intelligent woman who scorns him. Can two such different people help one another overcome the idols that bind them? And this book is so good at really showing the different idols that we have in our lives, not just physical idols of statues, but how we can make our achievements and our working long hours and how we can make other people our idols instead of really focusing on God. And um, it definitely comes into play with both Darius and with Cyril because they both have different idols that you'll see. Um, and this book is just so beautifully written as you guys can see my tabs are all in here i have read this book multiple times so i'm actually going to be taking my tabs out and reviewing my tabs because i'm rereading it but as you guys can see i write in my book so i'm so excited for that so i do have a reading schedule if you guys are interested in printing one out and here is what it looks like so you get the schedule from february to april and this is just as far as like the chapter breakdowns reading the chapters so from today february 12th until february 18th we will be reading chapters one to three you can annotate you can take notes you can highlight you can mark however you want to do it if you are in need of a copy of this book an e-copy of this book please let me know i will leave my email link down below um so you guys can email me and just let me know and i can definitely get you a ebook copy of the book if you require it but um yeah so we're gonna be doing live discussions and a live reading so live discussions will happen every two weeks that way we have at least six chapters of content to discuss so the first live reading will most likely be on february 27th that gives you time to read chapters one through six and the first live read in did I say live reading or did I say live discussion? The first live discussion will be will be <laughs> on February 27th. That's a Saturday. And then the following one will happen, if I'm not mistaken, on March 13th. Look down below because I don't have all the dates written down. I just have the first date. So the first date will be on February 27th. That gives you time to read those six chapters. Um, All of the dates will be 
listed down below and in those live discussions i'll be talking about my favorite parts from each chapter some quotes that i really like how i relate certain things back to my life and getting you guys' opinion so you guys can tell me what you're thinking so far how you're feeling i'll probably ask some questions and things like that um and then we will also have live read-in so a live read-in or a reading sprint as what we call it in the book community um is basically where i will come on camera on whatever day probably the week before the live discussion and um i will probably do it for an hour just we'll be t together for an hour reading the book so if you have a copy of the book whether physical or e-copy we'll spend time reading it we'll probably do it in 30 minute increments we'll have fun discussions talk about life read some talk about life read some that way we're having that balance of getting the book read but also enjoying the time of reading if that makes sense so i'm super super excited for that and um hopefully i can have the first one be on february 20th that's a saturday i'm not sure exactly what time we'll see but february 20th i do want to have the first live read in um here on youtube and facebook and hopefully instagram if i can figure out how to get that going um and then the first live discussion will be on saturday february 27th so i think every other saturday will be either a live discussion or a live read in all the dates will be down, down below because as I'm thinking this through, I'm figuring out dates. So by the time I finish and edit this video, all the dates will be down below for you guys. But um, yeah, I am so, so excited to be reading this with you guys. I think we've read this before previously and many of you guys enjoyed it. So I figured why not give it an option again and many of you guys have voted for it. So I'm super excited to be reading this with you guys. Again, this book is literally amazing. I love all of the books that Tessa writes. Her writing is just amazing to me, impeccable, and I'm super, super excited for her newest release coming out in the summer. Literally, I think the day before my birthday or no, two days before my birthday, June 1st, Jewel of the Now, I believe is what it's called. Her next book is going to be published and I cannot wait for that book. I'm so excited. But that is it. Um, again, I meant to have this video up for you guys on Wednesday, but I didn't do that. So I apologize. It is going up on the same night <laughs> or same day as the, the book club has started. Um, so again, you have a week to read the first three chapters. Write your notes, highlight, enjoy your time reading the book. My purpose behind these book clubs, outside of reading just nonfiction, is that I want us to read biblical fiction and Christian books that will help us really be able to relate and connect to scripture and i find that when you read biblical fiction and christian fiction in general sometimes you're able to really see how characters react within the scripture context and be able to relate it to you i love it so much you guys know how i feel about my biblical fiction books okay so um yeah that is it so all the links are down below for the facebook group if you haven't joined the facebook group instagram down below as well um what else my blog i will also post my blog link down below i'm trying to get back into the blogging of course um and i think that's all oh and the information for the live readings the dates for that and then the live discussion dates um if you guys have any other comments questions or concerns definitely leave it in the comment section i'll get to those as soon as possible i need to get back on commenting like asap to you guys i apologize but um yeah that is pretty much it for this video so thank you guys for watching rating subscribing and all that great stuff thumbs up this video if you liked it click the little bell to stay notified whenever i post and i'll see you guys in the next video bye